Ethiopia, Parliament has ratified a six-month state of emergency imposed after the Prime Minister stepped down last month. Although the voting process exposed rifts within the ruling coalition, the approval of the measure was widely expected. The decree bans protests and restricts publications that could be deemed to incite violence. Authorities say it will protect citizens and, and ensure the constitution is upheld. However, critics say it will restrict freedom of expression. Ethiopia has struggled with several years of unrest and political upheaval. Let's get some more insight into the situation in Ethiopia from our correspondent Grim Chala, who joins me here in Nairobi. Grim, thanks for your time. So Parliament has induced this state of emergency. How does it affect the lives of Ethiopians and for how long will it be expected to last? Thank you very much, uh, Penina. In Ethiopia, the state of emergency was introduced, as the government said, uh, to safeguard the constitutional order in the first place and also also to pacify the country, take, take it back from the situation of unrest and crisis. Uh, while at the same time also keeping citizens uh, from attacks and others, you know, as we've seen in different regions of the country. Now, definitely the government also admits and the, the uh, command post also admits that life will be disrupted if in case, for example, uh, curfews and others are introduced. Uh, many few human rights abuses could also uh, uh, be taking place if cautionary measures are not taken. But all in all, uh, generally, it, this is to help the people and the country come back to a normalcy. So we are expecting that at least uh, the situation will be under control as soon as possible so that uh, it's not going to affect people negatively, rather it will affect the country positively. And when do we expect the announcement of a Prime Minister and what does this process entail? Well, Ethiopia, as you know, is, uh, uh, has a parliamentary system, not a presidential system. You cannot just pick uh, a person to be a president or you, we are not directly electing in, in our country. Rather, it's a, it's a parliamentary system. As you see in South Africa, for example, if the party gets elected and the party nominates a person to take up the job on behalf of uh, the elected party. So in Ethiopia, the same thing happened so throughout uh, the, the stay of the ruling EPRD party. Now the same thing also will repeat itself. Uh, after Prime Minister Haile Mariam Desani resigned, the party EPID, which is a coalition of four uh, major parties, is taking its time to choose the next Prime Minister who is going to take this duty. Mind you, Penina, in Ethiopia, the next Prime Minister who is going to take that strong uh, post uh, will have a lot to do. There is a, a lot of work to do on the table, uh, to, from pacifying the country to uniting the country and also continue the prosperity of the state. There is a lot at stake at the moment. So analysts will tell you the party is taking its time to introduce the next prime minister and it's, it's a commendable job that they are taking this at their time to introduce the next person. But in the next perhaps uh, two, two weeks or less, we will know uh, the next prime minister of Ethiopia. Is there clarity for now who's likely to succeed Halle Mariam Dessalen? Well, there are names here and there that pop out. You, 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 you hear them on social media and also you, when we speak to authorities, they'll tell you X and Y. Uh, as I said, this coalition uh, has uh, people, stronger people, who potentially can take the country out of the current situation. EPRDF must, as people are saying, uh, sit down, uh, as they are doing it right now, and pick the right person out of those who are going to be the prime minister, who have, who have a potential of becoming the next prime minister of the country. Uh, these uh, four coalitions are, have also um, a task of coming together to nominate one of uh, their uh, strong personalities so that uh, this is going to be a national agenda than uh, you know, a local agenda. So um, there are names, but we don't know exactly who's going to be the next prime minister of Ethiopia. All right, Grimchala, thank you for joining us.